Hey everybody, my name is Chris. Welcome to Casual Fragrances. Hope you're having a great day. What's your scent of the day or scent of night? Drop in the comment section below. My scent of the day is from the house of Hermes. This is from the Eau Jardin line. Eau Jardin A Satir. This one's a great one. I have a full review one. I'll leave the card at the end here. It's a fresh fragrance with lemon and then there's some pistachio as well. It's a very nice, fresh, green type of scent. Very um, grassy, earthy scent. Definitely check this out here if you want a great spring and summer scent. Today, guys, I'm doing a big fragrance haul video. So this month, July, I spend a lot of money on fragrances. You guys know me. I work a regular job. I work at a warehouse. I'm very thankful that I can work a lot of overtime. So every month, I try to put aside some money um, to buy some fragrances. So this month, I went a little overboard. Over $1,500 in fragrances, right? <laughs> Too much money, right? But anyway, these are some fragrances I really wanted to get, um, and I'm happy I have my collection. I'm gonna do a giveaway as well. I love giving back to you guys, you know that. Um, I don't really have to give back to anybody at all. I know what it's like to try to buy fragrances. I've been collecting fragrances for more than seven years now. I've been on YouTube, um, and it's a very expensive habit. I don't mind giving away a sample here and there because I'm never gonna go through all my bottles. I probably have close to 200 fragrance bottles. So to each its own, give away three samples of the fragrances that I'm talking about today. I have a total of five fragrances, but um, Four of them I would be doing full reviews on. One I already have a review on it, which I'll leave at the end of the card or in the link down below. What fragrances you guys buy this year of 2023? Drop your comments down below. Let's talk about the giveaway real quick. So I'm giving away samples, three samples of, of whatever fragrance you want. Just leave a comment down below which sample you want. And I will give, I will pick the giveaway winner in the future reviews when I do each fragrance one at a time. USA only giveaway. Uh, make sure you leave a comment down below. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and give this video a like as well. First fragrance I bought, I already talked about it, but I bought it in July. This is Mind Games. That's the Mind Games. This is Double Attack. This is a beautiful scent. Very expensive, like the beautiful presentation. This is going to run you $345 for 100 ml bottle. I love the beautiful cap. You can snap it into place, and the sprayers are beast mode. Look at that. This fragrance here has notes of bitter orange, we have dark chocolate, vetiver, geranium, vanilla. This is a great fresh slash gourmand fragrance. Definitely getting that, a lot of bit of dark chocolate, but it's not overpowering. It's a nice bit of chocolate, it's very refreshing with the freshness of the bitter orange and the pimentos. Definitely a great fragrance to wear all year round. You want to tone the sprays down in the warmer months. In the fall and winter time, you can go ham, a couple extra sprays. A very nice gentleman fragrance. You can wear as a unisex fragrance as well. This is a great, awesome scent. You guys should definitely check this out by the house of my game. It's a niche fragrance brand, and all their caps are based off of chess pieces. I have a full review on this, which I'll leave at the end of the video or a link down below. Definitely check out Mind Games. This is Double Attack. Before fragrance I purchased, somebody left a comment. I'll leave it here on the screen or I'll post it on the screen from the house of Louis Vuitton. So I've been debating about getting a few fragrances. I was gonna get Meteor, Pacific Chill. I was gonna get Orjan. A lot of great fragrances. Shout out to my sales associate, um, Passion. This here is called Pacific Chill. I know, right? I know, I know. I'm gonna hear in the comment section, why'd you buy it, man? You said it wasn't that great. Now, if you watch my first impression on a fragrance, excited um, week in fragrance video I did, which I'm excited for when it, before it came out, and then I did a first impression when I tried it, and it was a nice scent. I didn't say I didn't like it. I said it was okay. It wasn't my favorite. So then I went back there a few times, asked for samples. They didn't have any, so I sprayed it on my skin. I visited Louis Vuitton four times before purchasing this bottle here, and I really like the scent. I don't love it. I really do like the scent, okay? So... I did get my bottle customized, so it has CMC. So people always want to know what's that mean. It's uh, Chris or Christopher. Dot Mark is my middle initial or name, um, and my middle initial and C is for Creta. So nevertheless, beautiful presentation, which I said in my first impression, I said I would buy this because of the bottle as well, because I like that green, clear, and blue um, coloration of the bottle. I really do like it. Notes of lemon, mint, citron, coriander, black currant. First off, I do like the presentation of the the box as well with Louis Vuitton and Pacific Chill. So let's spray this. 
test strip here. Sparrows are awesome. All right. This opens up with a nice burst of freshness. Now you're definitely picking up um, some freshness from the lemon. Definitely getting some bergamot. Now this one here, I do pick up mint on the test strip, but a few times I worn it, I didn't really pick up mint off of my skin, which was kind of weird, but I'm still in the phase of testing this out, which I have four of you coming up soon. But it's a very green fragrance, okay? Now it does have fruitiness in it as well, so there's a fruitiness about the fragrance, and that's something that I didn't like at first, and I'm not the biggest fan of it, but it's a nice bit of fruitiness slash greenness in this fragrance. And I said this gave me the vibes of Zebra. It was a, it was a bubble gum back in the day when I was younger. Got that bubble gum vibe. It's very juicy, fruity, slightly green feel in the fragrance. So it's slightly fresh, green, and sweet. Um, but definitely, it's a nice scent for the spring and summertime. And I know it does get a little bit of comparison to Afternoon Swim by Louis Vuitton. I kind of get that DNA in here, but it's not the same fragrance. But I think Jock Cavalli was going for something in that same realm. So this is definitely a good fragrance. Not my favorite, but I do like the scent. And you guys should definitely check out Pacific Chill by Louis Vuitton if you like those fresh, warming, summer slash spring fragrances with some fruity touches um, and some greenness as well. Definitely check it out. All right, guys, three fragrances left, right? <laughs> if you guys like this cool haul videos, give me a like. Let me know in the comment section below and make sure to subscribe to the channel so I can do this maybe once a month or something like that. I did buy some more fragrances at Perfumology, so I'll leave Perfumology link down below. I bought these, they were not sent to me. So let's go over number three, I'm super excited. This one here is called Ingenuous Ginger. This is by Goldfield and Banks. So this is one of their ginger fragrances, right? So this goes for $190 for 100 ml bottle. I do have a travel spray and they do have a 50 ml bottle as well, which I'll leave the links down below. All right, beautiful presentation with the top here with the name of the brand and the fragrance. In front here, bottom here is your batch code information, some information in the back, and it opens up like a little sleeve like this, which is pretty cool. Nice uh, presentation here, opens up. And voila, you got your bottle. So it's very beautiful and elegant here. And has a little card telling you about the fragrance itself, which is pretty cool. Nice added detail to touch. I'm gonna spray this one here. I love the beautiful bottle. I have Gold Foot and Banks. I have Bohemian Lime. This is another great fresh fragrance as well. So. How's this one smell? Woo. This is an overdose of ginger, guys. So I have a note breakdown here I wrote down. So it's ginger, bergamot, lemon, patchouli, sandalwood, jasmine, rose, mandarin, vanilla, and musk. A great, nice overdose of ginger in the opening. It's definitely a fire, amazing scent. And my friend Jerome would say this fragrance is fire. It's, it's in your face ginger at its finest. Now you definitely do picking up some bergamot and some lemon as well, so it's nice bit of freshness with the ginger. There is some spiciness in this fragrance. Definitely picking up some sandalwood and you're definitely picking up some musk. You definitely do get little hints of vanilla as well, so it's nice bit of creaminess. This is a great, elegant fragrance. You can wear this dressed up or dressed down. This will be a nice statement maker fragrance. When you wear this, People are like, oh man, you smell great. What are you wearing? I smell this ginger, this spiciness in it. A really great fragrance. I mean, you kind of can get a little bit of a sweet gourmand touches, but it's leaning more on the fresh side, but it's definitely wearable all year round. It's a nice ginger scent. If you like fragrances like Molecule One, um, ginger, you can like something like this. I feel like this one here is a little bit more ginger, sweet, and freshness, and that's just mainly ginger. Um, this one here is awesome, guys. This one smells amazing, and I did let Kelly smell it, and she liked it as well, but I'll have her in full review for most of these fragrances if she has time to do it. This is fire, guys. If you like ginger fragrances, right, and you want a nice ginger fragrance for the spring and summertime, or heck, wear a signature scent, definitely check out Ingenuous Ginger by Goldfoot and Banks. Number two fragrance I purchased from Perfumage. This fragrance smells really good, and I'll tell you why in a moment. This is the new Rosia. This is O Intense, Rosia Parfum Elysium O Intense. So here we go, I like the white box presentation. I like that transformer symbol. <laughs> I, my brother and me were talking about that. Shout out to my brother Ray. So this fragrance goes for a hefty penny, $315 for a 100 ml bottle. <laughs> right, crazy for Rosia prices. 
they do have great detail so that's one thing I can say for Rosier top-notch quality and the box has a little bit of texture on the side here which is nice the back says oh intense um, it slides out like this which is nice nice beautiful presentation beautiful take the bottle out nice bit of sway in the inside nice bit of texture nice box as well now this is the beautiful bottle presentation which I'll show you guys here nice and elegant nice texture nice cap I do miss the gold cap but this is nice and you can pick it up by the cap I wouldn't do it I feel like it's gonna fall off but okay let's spray this tell you how I feel about it. I like the color of the juice and I like the clear bottle you can see your juice level which is always good all right nice pressure atomizer okay so this one here um, is Owen intense okay it goes for $315 at Perfumology I'll leave a link down below if you want to buy samples as well any of these fragrance I'll leave the links down below this here goes to bergamot grapefruit lime rhubarb black currant apple musk orange blossom cedarwood vetiver there's a lot of notes in this fragrance here right just like the original uh rocher parfum elysium cologne and the original uh pour -um, right okay so i definitely do get a freshness in this fragrance from the opening you're definitely picking up that grapefruit and bergamot you're definitely getting a fresh laundry detergent type of feel i've said this before um to a friend of mine off camera that i get this fresh laundry detergent vibe like i just put laundry detergent on my clothes or i just got my clothes out of the dryer a fresh linen vibe and it's a very refreshing fragrance it's not a comp complex fragrance where it's overbearing or hard to dissect this fragrance a very refreshing um fragrance very refreshing clean elegant you're definitely getting um that clean soapy vibe and it's a great fragrance. I like the way it smells, it's easy to wear. If you like fragrances that are not so complex, just very fresh and clean and versatile, you're gonna love something like this. Now, is it gonna reinvent the wheel? No, but it's a fresh fragrance. Some people might think at least generic as a fresh laundry detergent type of scent, but it's very nice and elegant. And if you wanna upgrade from your Dior Sauvage and Blue de Chanel's, definitely try something like this or the original Elysium Cologne or Creed Aventus. These are those, those best designer-ish but they're niche high quality fragrances at the end of the day this is a nice fresh and blue scent definitely the rhubarb is the main fra the fragrance note in this fragrance here so if you like to know the rhubarb you're gonna like something like this and you're definitely getting some lavender as well and has some black currant and the lemon and bergamot has a nice bit of freshness through the life of the fragrance so if you like fragrances like blue de chanel and dior sauvage definitely check out rosier parfum this is the O intense this is elysium Okay guys, down to the wire, my number one fragrance. This is a fragrance that I wanted for a while. It almost makes me want to cry because the first time I smelled this, um, a subscriber gave this bottle to me. Um, and he's a fragrance reviewer as well, so shout out to him, which I'll talk about in a full review. But man, this fragrance is amazing. From the house of Rosia, and this is a very expensive fragrance, and I'll tell you why I love it. This is Oceania. I love this one by the house of Rosia. This fragrance is somewhere in a bottle. Um, it's a beautiful scent. I, I love this fragrance. I'm not one to preach, you know, about fragrances that for me are a 10 out of 10. And I'm very careful when I say that because that will backfire for me or any reviewer in the game, hands down. Because you will get blasted if it's not a 10 out of 10. You know that. This is amazing, guys. I love this one here by the House of Rosia. This is $380, expensive fragrance. You need to get yourself a sample and try it out first, and then you see if you love it as much as I do. But I love this one, guys. So let me open it up for you guys here. Beautiful, elegant box as well. I like the nice detail to touch. Beautiful with the waves. And a portion of this money goes to donations um, Rosia has for the environment and stuff like that which is cool which i'll leave that website down below explain i don't want to bear it too much in this haul video to make it too long but this is a beautiful i love it your information down below your batch code it's a 100 ml bottle 3.4 fluid ounces and it says here five percent of the proceeds 
um, go to um, the ocean, stuff like that, which is cool. I really like that a lot. This is an auto puff arm concentration. This is a beautiful, elegant presentation. This is a 10 out of 10. I love this. I love the beautiful bottle as well. It has a sticker on, which is cool. I'll take it off here. Like the Apple phone. That's how luxury this is. I'm gonna spray it. I love the beautiful cap. This cap is amazing. Heavy as shit. <laughs> Excuse my language, it's amazing. Pressure atomizer. All right. Moment of truth. Oh man, so good. This here has notes of lemon, bergamot, lime. This is a nice aquatic fragrance, but it's not an aquatic fragrance. Like they don't list aquatic notes, but it has grapefruit, mandarin, vanilla, rosemary, geranium, musk, cedarwood, orris, vetiver. This fragrance has these Oceania kind of notes where it feels like an ocean fragrance and it smells like an ocean fragrance. It gives it that vibe where you want to be at the beach or near the ocean. Now, they don't list those aquatic notes, but when you smell it, you're like, oh, I'm thinking it might be an aquatic fragrance. But you can get that vibe, but it doesn't have to have the note breakdown in it. It's a very refreshing, I get more of a summer, ocean, sea salty vibe on my skin. You know what I mean? And it's just a beautiful, elegant scent. This is one where hopefully I go down the shore next month or two, I'm definitely gonna wear this on holiday, going down to the boardwalk, whether it's Atlantic City, if I'm from Jersey, you guys know what I mean, AC, or we're going to Cape May, wow, what it's a beautiful scent to wear, and I'm gonna cherish wearing this going down there with Kelly, maybe grabbing a slice of pizza on the boardwalk, or going to a nice restaurant at nighttime. This is a nice, amazing, elegant fragrance. You can wear it casual as well, but it does shine better as a professional scent. Maybe you're going to a board meeting, going to work, you're wearing a suit and tie, maybe you're a CEO of a company or you work at a bank, this is an amazing scent. Not saying that you can't wear this dress down, but it does have a little bit more appreciation wearing this with a suit or wearing it with a polo, a button up and some slacks, um, going to a nice restaurant. I love this one a lot, guys. This is an amazing fragrance from the house of Rosia. This Oceania will take your breath away. I love it that much. You guys should definitely check this out. Give yourself a sample first, because you may not like this or any other fragrance I talked about today, but give yourself a sample. You deserve to buy a sample first and test on your skin and see if it performs and you like it and then commit to a full bottle. If you try this fragrance from the house of Rosia Parfum, and this is Oceania Auto Parfum, let me know in the comment section below. Do you like it, love it, or hate it? What are your favorite Rosia fragrances? Okay guys, so the giveaway is really simple. I'm giving away three samples. Either you can pick Oceania by Rosia. You can pick Elysium O Intense by Rosia. You can pick Ingenuous Ginger by Goldfoot and Banks. You can pick Pacific Chill by Louis Vuitton. Or you can pick Double Attack by Mind Games. It's your choice. Let me know in the comment section below which one you want to sample of. And I do full reviews on four of these fragrances very soon. And I'll post a giveaway winner on the screen in each review as well. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoy this type of content and you want to see more haul videos or vlogs or full reviews, click that red subscribe button down below. Like the video and click the bell icon to miss any future content on this channel. What have you guys bought this year in 2023? Let me know down below. Be safe everyone. Me and Kelly Kerr, but all you guys around the world. Thank you Perfect Myology for having these amazing fragrances for you to purchase. Be safe everyone and I'll catch my next video very soon. Peace.